Hey, we survived. When you open your eyes, you're already coughing violently. You can feel cold heart stand below you. Your, when your vision comes into focus, you immediately see face looking down on you. Or at you. A young dark skinned woman is watching you with a mixture of curiosity and apprehension. She has long black hair, and her face seems to balance sweetness and strength. With some effort, you manage to sit up look and look around. There's no trace of your ship or your crew. Captain Ellie and Medina and all the others gone, probably dead. The woman is still watching you in intense curiosity, perhaps even a hint of suspicion. You are about to smile when your expression transforms again, and in a single skillful movement, she twirls around a spear, running its sharp tip at your throat. Tu es l'un des she speaks French. Having studied French at university, you understand her fairly well, but there is a word in her question that you do not understand. Words that, a word that didn't even seem like French. You answer trying to pronounce the words to the best of your ability. Not understand what you asked, there's no for that weapon. Don't tell me I've been shipwrecked. Let's do decisive. Seem, makes sense. Another shift rotation of the spear. Get to with the shaft. I'll decide if I need weapon. Who are you? I am British. I was on a cargo ship, which was sunk by by a storm. The woman is perplexed. It looks like she doesn't understand if you are lying. There were no storms here. I passed out and found myself at the mercy of the waves. I don't not know how long. Look at me. What I could do scrutinizing you. Although she does not seem entirely convinced, slowly lowers her spear. Then helps you stand. You're unsteady in your feet. You're thankful that you can even stay upright. Recent events have taken their toll. You're hungry and your throat is still burning. She beckons you to follow her and walks off towards the jungle, which starts immediately behind the beach. Well, she didn't kill us, so that's good. Let's hope we don't get lost in the jungle or attacked by tentacle monsters. She's guiding you to the dense vegetation of the jungle, holding your hand with the grip so tight that you doubt you'd be able to break free even if you are not in your current debilitated state. After a few hundred meters, the jungle gets away to a clearing, and in it, a small village. As you approach, the villagers immediately stop their activities and turn to stare at you and exchange surprised comments amongst themselves. The woman is still holding her hand, dragging you through the village. She speaks again, but not in French. You cannot understand a single word she is saying, and you still feel very confused. Finally, she stops, turns to you, and goes back to speaking in French. My name is Aita. This is my village. Many of the other villagers are crowding around you. They're crowding around and you begin to feel somewhat apprehensive. Well, yeah, I mean, you're in a strange place that you don't even know where you, it is. So I can see how you feel that way. The adrenaline produced by waking to strange circumstances, suddenly overpowered by your fatigue, and you feel your knees giving away. The Eda props you up, stop you from falling. You wonder if you will faint. Understanding that your hunger and thirst 
are reaching critical levels. You're sitting on the floor of the hut, and Aida is bringing you food. There are various strange tropical fruits and wooden bowls filled with food that you do not recognize. Oh shit. That was a misclick. Well, I guess if you want to see that, you have to skip back and pause it. Because I can't read that now. Aida is sitting next to you. You're looking at you inquisitively. Seems cheerful, as if the mere sight of you amuses her. Then her expression changes, and she suddenly becomes serious. Eat talk. Talk. What's matter? Is it them? Who's them? This village is not free. Since they came, we have had no freedom. We do whatever they want us to do, and every month they come here to take one of us away. No one has ever come back. Who are they? Corners. They have weapons, and they do things, strange things. All the villagers are scared of them. Scared that they'll put a curse on us, or worse. So they can do whatever they want to us. And no one protests. You're intrigued. It is certainly a strange story. We have many questions. But a young boy about 12 years old enters the hut and comes close. He eats a smiles. Hey, this is the village chief's son. Clara. That. But everyone calls him Fuego. Much better. You shake hands with Fuego, and discover that he also speaks French. And we'll talk to him, I guess. And we can always get the information about the other later. To the chief's son. You're an important person, then. My father is important. I'm only a boy, for now. Let's question. Find followers with then? Of course. I will make him proud to becoming as good a chief as him. The moment you are struck by the boy's pride, but then you laugh. He either laughs with you. I mean, it makes sense. I have no doubt that you will encourage. I think encourage makes the most sense. You must be clever yourself then. Burst out laughing again. Ida smiles too. Her face is darkened again. Ida stands up looking at you. Ending the conversation. Follow me. Well, we got some experience. Good. Ida suddenly walked off towards the edge of the village. Follow her and notice that Fuego is walking behind you. Ida turns gives him a look. Finally giving her consent for him to follow too. Both continue following her, so you're at least 100 yards outside the village. Aida sits and you and Fuego follow suit. My people, our people, are terrified and superstitious. They are completely at the mercy of these corners. They believe them to be something like sorcerers. But I, I think they are only men. I have followed them, watched them. I didn't see what they do with the people that they kidnap, but I saw them performing strange rituals. What kind of ritual? I'm not sure. Oh my god. Alright. Let's work with the village and go kill these bastards. So she believes they are only men. I'm beginning to think that this game, nothing supernatural going on. It wants you to think that. But these guys are just seem like some crazy cultists. I'm not sure. They meet at a cave in the middle of the forest. Wearing a sort of skirt and horrible masks. They all have the same strange tattoo on their arms. Looks like an eye. I never dared to get too close. 
So I don't know what they actually do during the rites. But I did see that they had brought with them the men which they kidnapped from the village. You were stunned speechless. It is the cold. Here too. But how is it possible? You attempted kids to the reaction. But I to watch you closely. She paused for a moment and Fuego looks at her. You can see where Aida is going with all this. Trust rights against the cult. And finding no support from the people herself. She's you a possible ally. You want me to help you. Aida suddenly nods her head. Fuego does the same. They must be stopped. But our people are too afraid. I need to know what they are doing with the people. From the village that they have taken. Then either fight or escape. Then Aida says it's about a small island nearby where the villagers could hide if things go awry. Uh, let's, let's help. These cults are a danger to humanity. We gotta wipe them out. Aida smiles. A smile that makes you feel that in another situation, and another time, she would have thrown her arms around you. Fuego, though, jumps to his feet, begins to shake around a sort of dance. Tony by Lopez yelps, it was soon to be a celebratory tradition of the tribe. Oh my god, 24 experience. Good. Back up to 60. That means if we needed to boost up observation or ability, we could. You go back to the village, crossing the short stretch of the jungle in silence. Right? You spend the entire next day with Aida and Fuego. Fuego has taken upon itself, upon himself to acquaint you with the fishing traditions of the village. He takes you to meet with a group of fishermen who had just returned from sea. Fuego proudly teaches you the local names of the fishing equipment, as well as all the fish and other animals that fill the nets, which are thrown down from the boats, which are small dugout. They're a goose. The women of the village take the cat to prepare it for the meal. Move to them. Yeah, we're going to do the agility check. Try to help with the fishing. Sass. The nets the men are using are quite different from any that you've seen before. And you haven't done much fishing. Nonetheless, you soon get the knack of throwing the nets and pulling them in without losing the fish they contain. Returning to shore, you give them a hand unloading and moving the catch. And you helping out, Aida smiles. A large fire is lit, and all the women are busy cleaning the fish and crustaceans caught by the men. When you notice certain tension in the air, there are noises coming from the jungle. Aida wide eyes alerts you in fuego. You must hide. Armed strange with pale, yet tanned skin, and European features enter the village and crowds and evidence together with angry and threatening command. Fans, they start examining the villagers. From behind the hut where Ida is taking you to hide, you are able to see the whole scene. You assume that they've come to kidnap someone, as recounted by Aida. Raise yourself up a little to get a better view of what is happening. You accidentally knock over fishing spear, then left leaning against the hut. Making a noise. Who's that? Is there someone who's not joined us here? Speaks in French. Another man approaches that where you're hiding. He just throws on the spot. Then Fuego rises to his feet and walks calmly into the clearing. You were shocked about to say something, but he just gestures for you to stay silent. What do we have here? A little boy. Did you think you could hide from us? Both this Max Fuego's face, 
but the young boy hits immediately back. Unfortunately, Strike has little effect on the man. After his second blow, Swaggo is left reeling and bloody on the ground. And I hate the cold to see more now. Let's kill them all. We get another firebomb here. I would love to burn them down. The men of the village are immobile, terrified. Gentlemen, I'd say we already have what we came for. The man makes signals to the other cultists, and they grab Fuego's arms, start dragging him away easily, by his resistance. Ida jerks what is about to shout, but this time it is your turn to silence her, You're putting her hand over her mouth. For only a second she struggles, then realizes that you are right. You feel a cold tear fall on the hand covering your mouth. Oh my god. While we got more experience, Goltus leave the village, taking Fuego with them. They were still holding Aida, even though she stopped struggling long ago. You know full well that you could not have done anything. In fact, you probably would have made the situation worse if you had reacted just now. Despite this awareness, you cannot help but feel like a coward. When the cults have gone, cultists have gone, you come out from your hiding place. Determined we will get him back, yeah. We will get him back. How? Just us? You don't know them. What they are capable of. It is cheerful and angry. Yes, we do. We know all about them. You're wrong. I know them all too well, in fact. Yeah, I'll do that. What do you mean? I have come across this cult before. The ship I was traveling on was sunk due to them. Yeah, we reveal that. Ask me for help and I'm ready. We need to think of a plan. You got any ideas then? Think allies. To think of something. We will need allies. There has to be someone willing to fight back. I don't know. Maybe it's possible. Try to come up with a plan of action, but quickly realize you don't have enough information. Where are they? I have watched them, followed them. Their camp is on the opposite side of the island, and there is a cave where they do the ritual. Of a starting point, at least. You need to see it for yourself, get a better idea of the situation, so that you can make a plan of attack. You will also need to find out if there is anyone else willing to help you and Aida, or if you are alone. Now you just have to make a start. All right. Well, that's very interesting. I I'm going to end it off here. So, if you enjoyed this and want to stay up to date with my latest videos, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell button. And I will see you in the next episode.